Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be today's tutorial. It's a brown smoky eye with a red lip. Really, really simple to recreate. It just takes one brown eyeshadow, your lip liner, and your lipstick, and of course foundation and blush. Um, but it's really, really simple. It just takes one brown eyeshadow and looks really, really sexy. So if you guys want to see how to get this brown smoky eye with the red lip, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And like I've said before, this is one of my favorites because it uh, shows up really good on camera. And it's a really good coverage. I usually like a light foundation um, on days when I'm not filming. But for the HD camera, I need something heavy coverage. And this works good. And I'm going to take a 266 by MAC and wet it. And... I'm going to mix cork and brun together. And just connect up the rest of the brow. And then since my hair is really warm, I like to take my bronzer and run that color in here next I'm gonna take a brown and the brown I'm gonna be taking is Brun by MAC this is Brun right here and I'm gonna take this with a Sony Kashuk brush and I have a 224 in front of me and a 217 by MAC but I feel like for what I want it, this brush will work more because it's a little different. It's stiffer, shorter um, than this one, so it'll pack on a lot more color. But it's not as thin as this one, so this is the one I, I need for what I want. So I'm going to take Brun. Oh, no, I just broke cork. Bummer. And then I'm going to start blending the edges and I'm tilting my head back a little so that I can really get in here. So I'm going to just start blending this out. So slowly start working it upwards around the edge. And just blend those edges out. Okay, so once I have that like that, I'm just going to take my blending brush. And this is a 224 by MAC. And I'm just going to try to blend the outer edges of this. And if you need help, maybe uh, picking up a little bit of your bronzer will help with the blending. So I'm just taking a little tiny bit of my bronzer and just blending it. Just picking up some more. Next, I'm going to add Naked Pigment as my highlight. I'm just going to take this dry and just tap it up here. And then just blend the bottom with my fingers. I'm just going to pick up my brush again. Take whatever is left on that brush in here. And just blend that in. And I'm just going to brush through my brows again.
And then I'm going to take a peach corrector by Bobbi Brown. And then I'm going to wet my brush. This is the same one I used for my eyebrows. I'm just going to wet it a little bit and pick up that same color brun. And I'm just going to apply it where my lash line is. And I'm just re-intensifying it until I get the darkness that I want. I pretty much want it to match up with the top. Next I'm going to take Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and set my concealer in place. So I'm going to take this down my T-zone. Next I'm going to take my Revlon Girlish Mascara. Next I'm going to go into my bronzer and I'm just like, using this uh, Rimmel one. And I'm going to take this on the tops of my cheeks. Blend it on the back of my ear. Onto my jaw. bottom of the neck and then I'm going to take a powder brush and just blend all of that out to make sure it's nice and even. And the blush I'm going to be taking is Copper Tone by MAC and this is just a peach bronzy sort of color. Almost very similar to my bronzer. And I'm just going to apply this to the apple of my cheek. It's just a tiny bit more intense than my bronzer. And also give that a blend. Next I'm going to do my lips and I'm going to go for a red lip. And the color I'm going to be using is Brick Pencil by MAC. Now I'm feathering the lip liner in. Make sure that when you open your mouth, this is filled in as well.
And then when you smell, there are no gaps in, in the line. So once I have the lip liner in place, I'm going to take my lipstick and the lipstick um, which is one of my favorite combinations is Ruby Woo with the brick pencil and this is because this color is a blue base red and it'll make your teeth white instead of the other reds that make your teeth look a little yellow. Um, so next I'm going to take my eyelash curler and this look should really probably be worn with lashes, but I'm not going to apply lashes because my eyes are a little sore from the weekend and applying lashes during the weekend. And I really don't like to apply lashes too often because since I do have sort of a double lash line, um, I can pull my lashes out when I take off the fake strip. So it kind of irritates my eyes a little and once I have that the last thing is to apply a lip gloss and the lip gloss I'm going to be taking is from this NYX set Let me this NYX set here and I'm going to take the bright red one I'm just going to let my hair down. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. As you guys can see, it's really nice and glamorous and sexy all in one. Um, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was easy. I really hope you guys like it. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. And any requests that you guys have, please let me know. And I'll be happy to help you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.